It sucks. It hurts. It's painful. I'm terrible at it. Why am I doing this? Those are all probably words that you've said to yourself. Mm -hmm. I said it to myself as well. The key, though, is getting through it. I came up with this idea while meditating five minutes ago. And I was realizing that I remember like my first meditation, I was like, so I'd meditated a few times because I'd read a book called 10% Happier. I can't remember who wrote it. Sorry, author. But I was like, oh, this is interesting. And then a bunch of these other kind of like business books or books by people who were super popular were attributing some of their success to this meditation thing. And so meditation basically is just focusing on your breath for a couple minutes a day. That's the easiest way to say it, right? Cool. And so I remember like my first one, I was like, okay, like this is cool. And then I get to the, like the next day and I'm like, oh man, this is hard. This sucks. And then I get to day three. I'm like, oh man, this is terrible. This is terrible. And then you get to like day 10. You're like, oh, I'm getting better at this. And you're at day 20. You're like, man, I'm so much better than I was day one. And then you're at day 30 in a row, by the way. Oh man, this is going well. This is, I'm a lot better at this. And I, and I was thinking, cause today I was like, oh, I've meditated 45 straight days. This is not a rah, rah, Zach. Congratulations. You've done this post, right? And like when I tell people I've, I work out every day, it's not like I don't want congratulations. It's a lifestyle that I believe actually now like you can't take days off because when you start taking days off, uh, it screws with you. Yes, you can have cheat days in there uh, as The Rock says, but as The Rock says, the millions and millions. I should get like a big rock poster behind me. That would be fun. But I'm talking primarily about being resilient, adversity, um, getting that mind suck out of you, right? So, so much of what we do is between these two ears. And so, I actually took notes for today's show, which I never do. I don't know why. But, I know a lot of you are interested in creating new habits, are trying to change new trying to make your lives better and it, and it takes time right i've trained my body i've trained myself to do a lot of things that before were really challenging saying no a lot more asking for money when other times i might not ask for money um a tremendous amount of different things if that's a sentence but what i want to start with on this is Whatever you want to achieve, right? Whatever you're trying to do, whatever you're doing for the first time, you're probably going to suck at it the first time, right? So we're talking about meditation. I sucked at it the first time there. Like that first bench press that you do when you're at the gym, the first run that you go on, the first call, the first meeting that you have. You're you're not going to be likely amazing at that that first time. It takes time. Now, I don't know the exact sentence or structure of how this goes, but I think Malcolm Gladwell in his book, Outliers, I believe, I don't know if it's that book or not, sorry, but it takes 10,000 hours to become an expert. So if you're putting in five minutes into something, man, like you can't expect to become an expert in that. And so, you know, as Andrea says, nothing good happens overnight right? It takes time, right? You have to put in the time, you have to put in the suck because that resiliency, that adversity comes through full circle and makes you stronger. And so I think while we live somewhat of a immediacy life now where everything needs like immediate response, people are like, oh, well, I want to, I want to get fit. I want to be the best at this overnight. And that just, that's not life. And I, Honestly, I don't care how much technology comes into play. I I don't think that ever changes. And I don't think it should change. Like, you have to bust your tail for that. And so, you know, you have to put in the work. It might not happen even in a year. It might not happen within two years. But you being resilient, 
you focusing on just training yourself to just keep going, to keep doing it, what you'll realize is you've gotten a lot better at that, right? Slow and steady wins the race. You've heard that. Most people just quit, right? I remember a couple of days ago, many of you guys know I'm training for a half an Ironman. I decided to put everything together and uh, do what they call a sprint triathlon. So I walk over, I don't walk, but I go to the YMCA about midday. It was interesting too because I remember as I was driving there after a, a series of meetings, my my mind, my body, my I, I started telling myself internally, ah, do I really want to do this today? And it was like interesting. So I told myself the day before that I was going to do something, and then as I get really close to it, I start getting you know things between my ears. My mind starts saying, mm, "Do you really want to do this?" And I hadn't even jumped in the pool yet. And so it's really interesting how we can talk ourselves out of stuff like this so freaking quickly. And so I was like, no, 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 I'm going to do this. All right. So then I got in the pool. Pool's okay. Pretty good towards the second half was better than the first half because you just get starting. Right. Then I did um, a bike for a little while. And then I jumped on and got into the run. And it was, look, these things do suck, but you have to. Do what you're, what you say you're going to do. And so I think so many times people are like, oh, why can't I do this thing? And the answer is, what are you willing to put into it to get those freaking results? And so many times people want something and they're not willing to put in the suck to do it. You're right. It does suck. It does hurt. But at the end of it, you're like, oh, I feel pretty good about that. Right, And that might not be an immediate reaction. That might be a year later. That might be two years later. Right, I think reflecting, that's probably the word I've used the most in 2018, is so freaking important. Reflecting back at what you've done. Right, What did you put in to get those kind of efforts? And so as you think about you know, that first run that you do that was hard for you to start anyway, it did suck. The third run, heck of a lot better. At the end of that week, if you've done it every day, you're probably looking a heck of a lot better. It's feeling a lot better. It's getting a lot easier. It's called repetition, right? Many of you who are wondering why things are not going the way that you want them to, again, what are you putting in to get that kind of result, right? If you put five minutes into something, are you going to get five minutes out of it? Probably. Right, But if you do something every freaking day, if you do something on a continual basis and you improve upon it because you just keep doing it, what you should expect is to get better at that. All right, Runs don't suck as much anymore. Your bench press at the gym doesn't hurt anymore either because you ripped this, the muscle and it grew back stronger. The calls that you didn't want to make that you weren't good at right? The emails, the books that you're writing, the blog post, everything, everything gets better. But when you quit, it doesn't. So that's a pretty simple thing. If you want it to stop hurting, if you want it to stop sucking, keep doing it. It's a pretty freaking simple concept, right? The one thing I have this written down. The number one thing maybe to life, to business is to be resilient, adversity, uh, to, to push through when things suck. Yeah, bad things happen every day. But it's what how you react to it that matters, right? It's, it's pushing through that that matters. And so, you know, being resilient is something that I think more people need to think about and to push through. Because at the end of the day, you know, we only live once. So push through or let that suck keep happening. And so, I don't know. I'm doing, I want to do things that are really, that, that scare me, that, um, that make me stronger, not just from an, uh, a physical standpoint, but from an emotional standpoint. And so I, maybe that's something that you can do too. So do things that suck. Don't quit them. Keep doing them. Be resilient. Um, and what you'll realize is that at the end of a week, at the end of a month, at the end of a year, you're like, wow, I did a lot more than I thought. But the key, no days off. Don't quit. So if you want things to keep sucking, well, keep quitting. If you want things to, if you want to get better at something, be resilient, push through. Don't let your mind screw you. Thanks for listening. Peace.